we try and play our part of giving youth um, the opportunity to bring about the change that they see and they require for themselves um, by providing access to um, quality education. We also provide them with opportunities of mentorship, a community service. Um, every one of our students must do community service. Um, life skills training. Um, with all the passion, creativity, daringness um, that's out there with our youth, um, we also realize that um, there are a lot of pressures also that, are, that, they, that they do face, and especially some of our children um, from the communities that they come from. So sometimes you're having to, the life skills, just to, you know, how do they deal with life's challenges? You know, there's too much anxiety, depression, um, and an increase in suicide just generally. So we'll try and address some of those issues. Um, we'll provide them with internships, and we also support the families where our children come from. Right now we have about, we, we have about 11 national polytechnics. We have several other institutions that can take almost 500 students every year. However, in Kenya, we have also met a slight difficulty because most of the parents we were trained, your child must go to the university. So going to a national vocation training institution is like we are really persuading them, but I think we must go back. Why are the youth not having jobs? They don't have the necessary skill. If you are looking for somebody to fix plumbing work, electrical work, even, and I can also say many times I've seen this before, if you go around in the country, you will not find somebody with some skills in plumbing, carpentry, missionary who is sitting at home. Therefore, it makes a good case that parents need to change their attitude and guardians so that they can take their children to vocation to get these skills, those who can. But you realize the government is concerned and have put many uh, programs in place. Let me come to the big four. We have had in Vision 2030 that this government aims for the, by the year 2030 that we have a newly industrialized country with a better quality of life for all Kenyans. That includes the youth. Therefore, for us to be able to do that, we have segmented Vision 2030 for our five years mid-term uh, plans. And in that mid-term plan this year, this particular mid-term plan of three years, we have centering on, on the big four. So if we are going to do affordable housing 500, we have sat down and said, how many capitals do we need? How many missionaries do we need? And now we have linked that with the technical vocational institution so that they'll be able to, pro to produce. So government is using evidence-based to be able to prepare some of the people graduating from tertiary institutions to take up jobs.